All right, I'm gonna to try to walk you through how to open up and save a file on your computer, SPSS file, and then go to the online cloud SPSS and open up that file. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click here, download it to your computer. So I now have put it on my desktop. So now we're gonna to go to the website that has the SPSS online program. Hold on. All right, the fastest way is after logging in to the MyLion portal, you're gonna to go to academic support and tutoring. It's on the front page, home page. And you're gonna to go to the SPSS online version 23. I don't know why we're getting these error messages it's working kind of but here's the SS so here's the video on what I'm about to do so if you don't get it the first time go to this page watch this video all right watch the video and if you have an Apple you're gonna have problems okay so there are some possible fix it down here that it doesn't work for everybody but again if you got an Apple you're gonna have problems but if you don't Watch the video. So we're going to click here. It's going to take us to this. You're going to log in just like you're logging into your My Alliance email. All right, we're in the cloud now. You're going to go ahead and open up the IBM SPSS. Click. Open. You're going to get this, click connect, ah, seems to be working. All right, seems to be working here. So this is the online version, do not forget. So I'm going to cancel out here. Also, remember, whenever you make a click here, it always, there's a like a 15, 20 second drag time. I'm unfortunate, but true. Okay, so here is the online version. So just pretend that this thing is in Kentucky or something. So watch and, and learn how to open up an SPSS document from your computer using this cloud server. Hold on. So don't feel bad if you can't do this on the first time. Literally, it took me at least 10 times to figure this out. But you're going to go to File, Open, Database. Here's the money box. You don't open here. You go to Documents. Scroll that puppy all the way up to the top. You want this PC and the C drive. I'll say that again. Scroll all the way up to the top. Where it says this PC and C drive, that's what you're going to click on. And again, there's there's a drag time every time you click on it because you're in Kentucky, remember that. So then you're going to go to users. Then you're going to go to your name. Now, the computer I'm on is a network through Alliant, but for yours, it would just say users and then probably your name or, or whoever bought the computer. So our gardener. And shh, shh, I did tell you it was slow. Boom. So now I'm going to go to the desktop under our gardener. Okay, there it is. So let's find that file. There it is right there. Final take home exam. Open. So this might take a while, right? So we're uploading the SPSS file that was on my computer up to the server in Kentucky. Ta -da, and there it is. Okay, there it is. Yay. So if you make any changes to it, right, you can run all your data, et cetera, et cetera. You want to save it back to your computer, you're going to do it backwards. You're going to go file, save as. Maybe you should have something to snack on while you're waiting for. <laughs> there it is. And again, 
Don't go by this desktop. Click. Scroll to the very top. Go to this computer C drive. Okay? Click on the C drive. Go to users. Go to your name who were, or whoever's name is the owner of the computer. A lot of waiting. Go to the desktop. I, I suggest you just put it on a desktop someplace quick and easy where you can pick it up. But now, again, we're saving it back to the desktop. So I'm going to save this as a backup BBB. And I'm on my desktop. It looks very familiar. I'm going to click Save. And that should do it. All right. I hope that helps. MGZ out.